So this is a very short video to explain how to open up a scan in Photoshop and make it look pretty. And this is something that animators um, might need to do if you if you're creating if you've made some thumbnail sketches uh, in pencil or in pen and you want to open them up, tidy them up, maybe send them to a client, make something look nice, make it look attractive. Here's how to do it. So I'm in Photoshop and I'm going, you actually can't see this because it's off the screen, but I'm going to File, Open, and I'm going to go and navigate to my desktop. And you'll see a bunch of junk here. But the image that I want is this. And this is a scan taken from my scanner. But it could equally just as, just as easily be something that I'd maybe taken a picture of with my phone. And then I'm going to open it up in Photoshop. And this is what's going to happen. This is actually a scan of my weekly cartoon strip for the times and it's going to come in slightly like this and you can see that the blacks are not black enough and the whites are too kind of creamy so I need to tidy this up and make it look nice so the first thing I'm going to do is go to image again you can't see this because in Photoshop in, in my Mac it goes slightly off the screen but I'm going image image rotation 90 degrees clockwise so that's the first thing I'm going to do then I'm going to go to the bounding box, uh, the rectangular marquee tool, I should say, up here. And I'm going to draw a rectangular marquee around the document like that. And then I'm going to go to image, which again, you can't see because it's off the screen. And then I go image crop like that. And then I'm going to go to view, which again, you can't see, view fit on screen, which you can see. So view fit on screen. And that now makes the image uh, exactly the right size so there's my cartoon and I can also ad adapt this slightly I can go to image uh, image rotation and then I can go arbitrary and that will allow me to rotate it very slightly to the right like that or I can undo that edit undo rotate canvas I can edit it the other way but I'm actually pretty happy with that because I've got it by sheer luck uh, the right size so now the next thing I want to do is is drop out some of the um, uh, the creaminess to make the the whites white and make the darks darker. So I'm going to this little symbol down here, this little black and white symbol, this little yin and yang symbol, and I go um, um, uh, I just click on uh, levels. Levels is the one I want. So click select levels, and that will allow me to um, if I just scroll down there. So you can see I can just pull that up at the bottom there and that will bring the levels up a little bit and then I can bring the levels up there from the top. So I'm basically going to get rid of all the kind of noise in that by, by just doing that, by just moving the, the little button up at the top here slightly to the left and the little button at the bottom slightly to the right. And then once I've done that, I'm going to go Image, Mode, grayscale and forgive me you can't see this it's off the screen again um, because of the, the the way that this works in, in in my Mac but it's image mode grayscale is what I'm going for and that will then ask me would I like to flatten the document and I go yes and then discard the color information yes so now I've got a black and white image um, and then the next thing I can do is go image mode RGB color. Again, you can't see that, but it's up there on the screen. Image mode RGB color. And now I can go in and I can add another level. So I can go to another layer, I should say. So I've just added another layer. And if I go multiply, I can now start to color this so that let's say I want to make this bathrobe red, something like that. And now I can start to paint it and do whatever I want with it and make it look pretty. Um, and I can turn that layer off anytime I like. But now what I've got is a is an image which is crisp and clean. And I can put this in a presentation uh, and it's going to look professional and slick and, and um, clean and not kind of fuzzy and dirty like a raw scan would be. So that is how to tidy up an image in Photoshop in just a few steps.